today I'm going to discuss about the clavicle, which I made the rule of two. If you can remember my last video, I made this couple the rule of three. Today, the clavicle is a rule of two. Clavicle is also known as a collarbone. And this collarbone, the clavicle together with the scapula, they form the shoulder girdle. And so clavicle rule of two, it has two special characteristics. First characteristic is that it is the only long bone in the human body that lies horizontally across the trunk. And it's also the only long bone in the human body that is without medullary cavity because all other long bones in our body Hemorrhous, radius, ulna, thermo, and so on and so forth, they all have medullary cavity. And they also lie vertically if you are standing in anatomical position. And so the clavicle is lying horizontally. Similarly, the clavicle has two ends. The acromial end, which is lying on the lateral side, and the sternal end, which is lying at the medial side. It also has two calves. These calves, it is convex when it is medial two third and concave when it is lateral one third. So the concavity is forward. The lateral one third is concave forward and the medial two third is convex forward. Similarly, clavicle has two primary centers of ossification, which I fear at the age at the age of six weeks of intrauterine life. It also has two secondary centers of ossification, which they all appear at the age of 13 to 14 year of life. And the clavicle makes two articulations. The first one is between the acromial end of the clavicle together with the uh, acromial process of the scapula to form the acromioclavicular joint. Similarly, the sternal end articulates with the manubrium of the sternum to form what we call sternoclavicular joint. It also has two special characteristics with regard to the ossification. It is the first bone in the human body that begins ossification, and it is also the last bone in the human body that finishes ossification. If we look at the lateral one third of the clavicle, it has also special characteristics. The lateral one third of the clavicle has two surfaces. It has superior surface and inferior surface. And then it also has two borders. This borders, number one, is anterior border, which is concave forward, and posterior border, which is convex backward. The lateral one third of the clavicle also has two tubercles. The first tubercle is what we call trapezoid tubercle. And this trapezoid tubercle lies on the anterior border of the lateral one third of the clavicle. While the other tubercle is lying at the inferior border of the clavicle, which we call the conoid tubercle. So these two tubercles, one anterior border of the clavicle, the other one at the inferior surface of the clavicle itself. Clavicle also gives two attachments when it is lateral one third. The first attachment is at the posterior border of the lateral one third of the clavicle where the trapezius muscle attaches at the posterior border of that uh, lateral one third of the clavicle and the anterior border of the clavicle lateral one third gives attachment of the anterior fibers of the deltoid. If you can remember in the last video, I discussed that the deltoid muscle has three types of fibers, anterior fibers, middle fibers and posterior fibers. So the anterior fibers, which are responsible for the flexion of the shoulder joint, they take origin from the anterior border of the clavicle. So the trapezius, the trapezius uh, muscle, you know, as it attaches at the posterior border of the clavicle, is responsible for the elevation of the shoulder joint like this. So again, similarly, the clavicle in general has to the, lateral, the, 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 the clavicle in general has two shapes. The lateral one third of the clavicle is flat and the middle two third of the clavicle is uh, a little bit round. So you can see that the clavicle in general has two different shapes. And that is why because of these two different shapes, there is an area of weakness here. The area of junction between the lateral one third and the middle two third, this junction here is a weak point 
where the flatter aspect of the clavicle join with the rounder aspect of the clavicle so easily the clavicle can easily get fractured and by so doing if the fracture happens at this point easily somebody can have a damage to the neurovascular bundles that come from the neck and pass across the posterior aspect of the middle to third of the clavicle down to the axilla. So viewers, thank you very much for having time to watch my video and I hope you are going to like or subscribe to it. Thank you very much. See you soon.